All right, let's get to it, shall we? Ooh, the magician. This is this is a good reading. This is you are moving, you're shaking, you're taking those lessons from the pain of the past, and you are um, ha helping having them help you and work for you. So uh, it does look like you have gone through quite a lot in the last couple of months. Some big changes coming on, but it looks like now you are moving into the growth space instead of the release space. So congratulations, Pisces. All that hard work and looking at things that were unpleasant is going to pay off for you. So the magician is really getting in touch with your own magic, your intuition, trusting your your words, your feelings, your connection over anyone else's. Uh, for many of you, it may be getting back to a yoga class, finding your magic that way, or just meditating or even wandering into church. But it is, uh, it, it does indicate that you are connected to the big picture, that it's not just about the surface things. Um, and Scorpio, you, I mean, so, sorry, Pisces, <laughs> you do dig deep as it is. You do, you, um, you're a water sign, you don't look at the surface thing. So it's more of the same and really digging deep to find what brings you your smile. It does look like you have changed some agreements, maybe even released a relationship or two, whether it's an intimate relationship or a friendship, some changes have gone on. So it does look like it's time for you to rebuild from this position. Um, and it does feel like you are more and more connected to the reasons why we are here on the planet. And you have had, it, it does feel like this uh, infinity sign here. You have it, you know, these symbols right here. So it does feel like you have had quite an aha moment. If you haven't had it already, you're about on the precipice of having one. But it does look like you are getting the big picture here. And if something isn't working that you've been trying to make work, there is a reason why. So it does feel like you have let go of some things. This sword is down on the table. So it does feel like you put the gauntlet down and the sword. So it does feel like you're not fighting anymore. You're not trying to make anything better or different um, as the collective that you reshifted your focus to you and what would help you find your smile but it is now um you're, it looks like you're firmly planted on your your karmic path it looks like you strayed for a little bit but now that you are um kind of back to center um and some of the anger is gone. The white here is lighting up. So it does feel like you're simplifying your life a little bit. That may be through physical things. That may be um, just, you know, not accepting and not doing things that don't feel comfortable to you anymore. Um, or it could be being cleaning out the garage. But it does feel like you have simplified your life. You're trusting the God of your heart, your spirit a little bit more and the journey. So it feels like um, not as much resistance that you are going with the flow of life and kind of letting spirit dictate the journey now. Um, the Fool is here, and the Fool actually is a lovely card, and that is the beginning. It is the zero card of the Tarot. And actually the Tarot is the story of the journey of the Fool. And the Fool is the very first card. So this is where it all begins. And I believe the world is 22. That is the ending. Um, so the fool is the beginnings of things. And also dictates take a leap of faith. Try something new. Be brave. Be brave, Pisces. And see where that new journey will take you. It does feel like you've been kind of on this old ruddy road and trying to sweep up, you know, sweep the dirt off of something that just is stained forever kind of thing. <laughs> that you've been really trying to clean up other things or other people and that just hasn't been working so it's time for you to find your bliss and to take a chance try and do something different or you know are you an artist and you put your paints away 10 years ago time to dust off those paints and find your bliss again with your art and your creation and you know winter time is a wonderful time to kind of get into our art and it could be knitting it could be you know jogging whatever it is but it does feel like you are now refocusing uh, more to you than um, the collective of other people. So take a leap of faith. 
Okay, the chariot is on top here. So it does look like, and this can be travel in style, the dark and the light, finding the balance between the dark and the light, and that's pretty true for you, Pisces, because you've got that one fish under the dark side and one fish on the light side. So really trying to find the balance between the, you know, we all have a darker side to us or an intrinsic side to us um, that we try to improve so it does feel like you have found a little bit more balance between your dark and your light side you're uh, a little bit more in acceptance mode than kind of pushing a boulder up uphill kind of thing you're going with the flow a little bit more this is also feeling it you may be saving for a trip that you've always wanted to do uh, a journey of some kind but it can be traveling in style and you know for many of you it may be some celebration that that you want to pay attention to um, this month or this year um, this medical insignia is lighting up for me so it does feel like maybe in the past you've had some medical stuff um, it may be a little bit more into the forefront so it does feel like it is not like as nagging as it is, as it was so you may be embracing healing right now um, you know if it's if it's a, a disease you may have um, found a way to live with it or you found a, uh, a way to live with it better um, or a cure so it does feel like there is some more balance in your health that you have um, taken the time to kind of find out some information do what you need to do a little bit more and it feels like a, it's a little smoother sailing but the chariot is uh, really balancing the dark and the light um, finding your stability in who you are and um, traveling style so it could be saving for those wildest dreams that you put on hold um, so that is what is above you the two here is in the recent past position yes this twos are always about balance you know and uh, by the juggle the juggle of life really that's pretty much what it is the juggle of life so you may be you know having a hard time juggling work and family and friends but it does look like you have found some resolution for that and it does feel like you are uh, refocusing a little bit more on you this infinity sign this infinity sign here um, is, is telling me that you're much much more on your karmic path in a more positive ways so that you have made some difficult decisions um, and are trudging forth and healing yourself and making you um, you and your desires your choices your wants and desires um, a little bit more um, important than you have before it looks like you've kind of put your creature comfort sometimes on the back shelf well that won't work for very long and usually our body creates dis-ease of some kind whether it's mental physical or emotional so it does feel like your body kind of took hit over the last couple of months and now it's coming back to center um but yeah really finding your balance and the ups and downs of everything so the juggle is working a little bit better but it does feel like you had to extricate or take something out of the mix in order for the flow to be a little bit more manageable for you Pisces the Queen of Pentacles is here she can be an earth sign Capricorn Taurus or Virgo this feels like um, you know in the Queen she's about she's she's very earthy um, Pentacles are about physical things you know she's kind of like the earth mama she's very loving and nurturing and she kind of collects people in for the great collective hug um, this feels does feel like a person so this uh, may be someone that um, has been giving good advice it doesn't necessarily feel like it's a lover but it does feel like someone that's in your heart space uh, so this could be um, a friend this could be a confidant but it does look like they were able to bring something into focus for you on that physical level um, 
and uh, it may be in collaboration you may be in collaboration with this queen of pentacles again that's an earth capricorn taurus or virgo can be a male or female um even though she is in a female body on this card but it does feel like some self-nurturing is uh in order and to kind of um, connect with this person to resolve some things but it does look like you are working with this person for um, a positive ending um, in all the kind of tumultuous stuff that was going on the last couple of months. So this may be someone you've asked for advice. This may be a friend that you're just reconnecting with um, or a potential new lover that is helping you clear some things. So the Page of Pentacles is here. This can be children. This also can be messages. If it is a child, again, that is an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, it does feel like some of these uh, decisions that had been made or the kind of discord that was going on in the last couple of months was affecting some of the children around you or around the household. Um, and it does feel like that has is lightening a little bit so you may be able to spend some more time with these kids if that is what's going on but it also feels like a message and a pages um you know those messages can come from anywhere and and pentacles uh, page of pentacles are about good news and and it could be rega regarding material goods somebody could be gifting you something sending you something in the mail but could be even an amazon package who knows but it's about worldly ambition and good news of uh, worldly ambition so did you put in for that promotion at work maybe you're gonna get some news about it uh, but for the most part this does feel like good news around work material goods money something like this but it's a positive it is not a negative it's a positive so the basis of all this it looks like was some kind of heart betrayal. This doesn't look like it's happening right now. It does look like it's a basis of a lot of decisions that you have made um, to change some things around. This can, as I said, be an affair. This can be um, just as simple as a friend who's dear to you lying or gossiping but it can be an affair it can be a divorce as well or some kind of separation um, in your life it is directly across from the queen of, of pentacles so maybe you have let go of some friendships in your life or a lover or are getting divorced this does feel like there has been some kind of separation of some kind sorry that was double negative <laughs> anyway there has been a separation so it's like it does feel like you're rebuilding either from that friendship or that marriage or that partnership and you are rebuilding it does feel like the load is a lot lighter since you have made that decision or have, um, have um, uh, shifted your mindset a little bit more um, the Ace of Wands is right here. You know, that's um, the God cards. That's the hand of God. And Ace of Wands, that's fire signs. Um, that's movement. Uh, so it could be a sudden change that happened. Um, this could have been suddenly, you suddenly found out about this betrayal. And it just kind of changed your whole world, rocked your whole world. So this can be anything... Um, could be anything actually <laughs> let me just stop there it could be anything but um it does feel like a sudden change was happened has happened or is about to happen um as you're trundling along it's something that came right out of the heavens you were completely unaware of and kind of shocked about it and having to make some decisions the wheel of fortune is right here and those are those decisions um you know if you put energy into the positive the wheel of fortune creates positive uh, wheel of fortune can create negative if we dwell on the negative too much um, so it's kind of like um, you're in control here the wheel of fortune can be luck good luck it's very good luck um, and because it's showing up here after all this it feels like it's it's really a gift to you that that all was revealed so you can make some changes you can move forward into your higher 
creative self and find your bliss again. So this Wheel of Fortune is right here in hopes and desires position right below the High Priestess. And that also is finding balance. You've got the Chariot here and the High Priestess. So it does feel, and the Magician. So it does feel like you're going more into your spiritual self, whether it's meditating, looking at the big picture, writing in a journal, but really kind of getting more um, down in, in into the spiritual realm or up, sorry, up into the spiritual realm of things. And it can mean wandering back into church, you know, getting, um, signing up for a yoga class, um, really kind of un, uh, peeling the onion of life, if you will. And, um, finding a little more calmness and a little bit more faith in yourself and others. Uh, so this high priestess, she's right here in the culmination section. So it does really feel like that is a main focus for you now, where maybe it wasn't so much in the past. The Queen of Cups is on one side. This is a water sign. This is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This can stand for you as well. But this does feel like someone outside of of you. So you may be reconnecting with someone that you had uh, a, a lot of joy with in the past and have not really connected for whatever reason. Um, and it, it may be a new love person as well. Doesn't necessarily have to be a woman, but again, that could be a Scorpio Pisces or Cancer. But it does feel like the High Priestess has a hand in this in bringing the two of you back together. Um, and um, it does feel like you have some work to do with this person, that that person was pushed to the side, but it does feel like it's time to come forward and uh, connect with this person, whether you, you know, send him a hi, how you doing, miss you, send him a card or a phone call, but it does look like um, uh, it's it's time to reconnect with this person because it uh, you had some great joy in the past and for whatever reason um, you weren't allowed to continue at the time but it does look like a new opportunity either for friendship could be a new lover um, or just reconnecting with a family member that you haven't seen in a very very long time and this kind of validates that this is the six of cups this can be messages from the past um, so it does look like pay attention to some messages. They can either come, you know, by way of electronics through the snail mail um, or just running into somebody in the grocery store. But it does look like you will be getting messages from the past, messages of love, uh, heart, excuse me, cups are about love and about emotions and about feelings. So this does look like you may be reconnecting with someone that you loved that you were separated from from the past. So that is your general reading Pisces for the month of November. It looks pretty good. It looks like you're going to finally be rewarded for some of those difficult decisions that you have been facing. Um, so let's see what the angels in abundance cards have to say. Oh, honey. That one I wanted to come out. Which one? Which one? Okay, that one. All right. <laughs> take a divinely guided chance. All right. Take a chance. Take a chance. And the other one is release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something in the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. So now it's time to turn down all those lower chakra fears and rise above into the love-based um, emotions. So it does feel like jealousy might have been a part during... Um, the basis of all this, whether it's your jealousy or someone else's, it does look like it guided some decisions and that is not really beneficial for you and moving forward into a place of bliss and growth. So let that go if you can. And sir, it does not serve you. So take a divinely guided chance. So I think that's what this is here, reconnecting. Um, and the divine has a lot to do with this. So this is like hand of God stuff um, that that is on your plate or headed towards you. 
So all positive change is successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you are ready to follow your divine guidance into new territories as you leave behind that which is com that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you. you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. Yeah, Pisces, you may be reconnecting with a love from the past of some kind. Um, but yeah, it really feels like taking a chance on something you let go, um, or were, weren't in a good space for at the time, but it does feel like a reconnection and that it is divinely guided. 